Yeah, hi, uh, this is Vishal here from Trackboard. So in this video, we will understand how to create a list page of something, some records, and then how to create a details page. So a lot of time people ask that how to link pages, how to create a details page, uh, a list page, show all the records, and then go to individual record when you click or go to the details or a show page of that record. Okay, so let's see how we do it. So we have a collection called product. It has a couple of fields like name of the product, name of the product, description, manufacturing date, and status. Okay, and we have a page, a uh, home page, which displays the list of the products. So now if I go to the page, I will display the list of the products. Now what I want to do, basically I want to create a details page where person click on some button or some link and go to the details page of it. Okay, so let's see how this can be done. So let's say I'll, I'll remove this button. I don't need it. There's a link. Okay, so either we can drop a new link or we can just change this. So I'll say we brought. Okay, as of now it will not take me anywhere because I have not linked it. So let's go and build a page to show the details of the product. So I'll say a view product page. So there are uh, there is one uh, important step which you need to do since this page is going to display the data of a particular product I'll need to bind the collection okay so in the view product I go to the uh, settings and go to this settings and you see bind collection we need to bind a collection that's from which collection I want to display the data right so it's a bind collection and then update it now I will be able to bring or pull data from a particular product or a particular product record so this title description you can change you can you, you can even bring it dynamically from the page but yeah that will cover later so for now what i've done i've created a details page and told the page that the data will come from products so now let's design this page okay so okay let's say this is the layout which i want to display here i'll say basically here let's say i'll display the name of the product here we'll see the description and that's all okay i reloaded it so that since we have binded the collection we should start getting variables so now if i go to the settings of any component i'll see one option get text from product so why this is coming this is coming because now the page knows that these values can come from a collection which is a collection called product so i'll say get text from collection and here i'll say name right i want to display the name of my product same thing here i'll say get text from collection and let's say a description okay so name of the product description of the product and let's add, let's add one more field let's keep this here okay and let's display the manufacturing date so i go to the component drop one more header and let's say manufacturing date okay. and change the heading to smaller one so now let's say this is a very dummy page we display the name of the product manufacturing date description and some random description in the image okay now we have a list page which is this home page and we have a details page for the product which is the product page now let's go to the home page and bind this button to the details page so what I'll do, I'll go to the settings and here you see the page. Now we will choose the page that on click of this button where we want to take the user. So we'll say go to view product page. Here it is asking get path link ID. That's from where you want to get the link of the product detail because there can be n number of products, right? Of records. Now I am telling that which particular record you should take this, right? So I'll say get it from parent so parent is basically this data table okay and then i'll choose id that whatever the record is binded to this data table take the id from there right so here it will take the product id because these this each row is for each product so now let's go and see this so i'll click preview 
it is showing me product one product two now click this view product okay so you see in the url it is sending the id this is the id of that particular product so product one in a fetching rate in some description similarly if i click product five it is now bringing the id of the product 5 so this is displaying the data of product 5 you can design like this page you can display much more details this basically covers the basic concept that how you link a list page to a details page similarly we can do it with data group also so let's go to the data group drop it here so let's say get data from collection which collection product and display all products okay so now i let's say i want to display the name of the product so i'll go to the settings get data from product which is name okay let's say description it's all okay now here also i'll say let's say product details okay and i'll remove this link so you can either use link component or a link box component okay now same thing you go to the settings you choose page that which page you want to go product page which product so i'll say from my parent choose the id of the product on which we currently are right and then i'll just save this now let's view this page again so here it is showing two products in the table and here it is showing two products in the card okay so now if i go to this product details button which is now linked to product one it will take me to product one right it is showing me product one similarly if i go for product two it will take me to product if i go to product five it will take me to product five okay so this is how it basically displays the data of a particular record so you can create a list page and then from the list page you can create a view or show or details page i hope this is clear now see you again in the next video thanks for watching bye bye